What's going on guys, Matt here from Become Elite and today I wanna to sit down and watch my high school highlight video and give my thoughts on my gameplay, the highlight video itself, and really just react to it. Now I usually never do these types of videos so if you guys do like it, hit the thumbs up button and also let me know in the comments section, but uh, it should be pretty interesting. Now last thing before this video begins, but this video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and to run your business. I can fly. So for a little bit of background, guys, if you have no idea who I am, my name is Matt Sheldon. I play for FC Tulsa, which is a second division professional soccer team here in the United States. I've been playing professional soccer now for about six years. I played division one college soccer for UC Davis. And randomly about two or three days ago, my own high school highlight video popped up on my uh, timeline on YouTube. So I thought it'd be an awesome video idea to just go through, watch it, and then give my critiques, my thoughts on my gameplay, my technique, all the little things that I notice, as well as also just talking about the highlight video itself and anything I would have done differently now as a professional footballer. But yeah, this video that we're about to react to is almost 10 years old now. It's from my senior season back in 2010. So uh, very long ago, I've definitely improved a ton. I've changed positions. I used to play striker back in high school and now I play right back. So things have definitely changed, but I'm really looking forward to sitting down and watching my play. And lastly, this is uh, my high school team was one of the best teams in state. I think we got fourth fourth in state during this whole uh, run up and first in our in our league and everything. So definitely a very successful season from us. And uh, this whole season really helped me propel me into the division one college soccer. So let's go and watch. Uh, right off the bat, I mean, this video almost has 37,000 views, which is insane. I think if I were to go back during my high school senior year and to tell myself that, yeah, your high school highlights would have 37,000 views, I would be mind blown. I, I think I was like stoked when I got over 100 views for the first time. Anyway, let's put this full screen and let's watch this. So right off the bat, just this very first, I mean, the first three seconds, I already have a critique about my highlight video, but it just says Matt Sheldon, number 13, Lincoln High School season 2010. I mean, if I were to redo it, that first five seconds should be that intro page where it has my name, my height, my, my weight, uh, date of birth, the year I was in high school, you know, my GPA, all of my stats for the season, everything in that one thing. I was the captain for this season, so I would have had that there, and then I would have had a picture of me, so a coach could come in, see what I look like, get it, put a face to the name, as well as get all my stats right there in the first five seconds. It gives that coach or whoever this video is going out to um, a better understanding of the type of person, the type of student, and the type of athlete I am. So. Um, you know, I would have changed that up immediately. Oh, oh, I'm stopping again. I'm not even, we haven't even got to a clip yet. But right here, um, as you can see, this highlight video is structured game by game. So like for example, the first, all the first highlights are from the Southridge game where we played against Southridge and beat them five to one. So I went chronologically throughout the season and my highlights were all game by game. If I were to redo it, and now in all my highlight videos that I've ever created pretty much since then, you just put the best highlights of the entire season at the front. It doesn't matter if you go game by game, your goal is when you send out this video for the coach to pop in and to watch it, he wants to see the best highlight videos of your season, the, the best clips that define you as a player at the very front, the very first three or four clips, make that coach go, wow, this player is amazing, instead of going chronologically game by game. Because the worst thing you can do is just randomly put them in, and then that first clip of your highlight video is a simple pass or something, and the coach goes, uh, okay, let's see, you know, because a lot of times coaches only watch that first 30 seconds to a minute, so you want it to be jam packed with all your best clips. That first clip, you want the coach to go, wow, I'm hooked. I wanna learn more about this player. I wanna watch more highlights from this player. So critique number two already. Okay. So I'm the player running in behind right now and scoring the goal. It's a good goal. Um, but as you can see, there's no circle around me either. So it's hard. I mean, I know which player I was, but if you guys are watching for this for the first time, you have no idea if I'm on the black team, if I'm on the white team, if I'm the left back that put in the cross or in the long ball, or if I'm the striker that finished it. So I really think that all highlight videos should just have a circle up on the screen or an arrow or something for at least a second just so people can get an understanding of, okay, wait, which player am I looking at? Who Who is the player? So. Critique number three. 
um, immediately I can already tell, like, uh, especially looking, I knew who I was as a player as well, but I'm sure you guys can see too. Uh, I definitely played very athletic. I liked to dribble, I was fast, and I definitely showed this in the highlight video. But even here, I had much better clips, much better highlights from my season that I should have put up towards the front if a coach was watching this. Instead, I mean, that's a decent clip, it's a decent run, but I think, you know, I should have restructured the highlight video better. Uh, but yeah, decent run. I was a little bit of ball hog back in high school. Like again, like that clip, probably, I mean, going three, four V one, probably not the best clip to have at the front. It might have a bad impression. Uh, you know, it's good. You can obviously see that I'm technical and I'm, I'm uh, aggressive and I, I like to, you know, dribble. But I think that again, as we'll see in this highlight video, there's much better highlights that I should have up at the front. Like this is like this is a decent one as well coming up. I remember this play. This is a goal. I mean, maybe the goalkeeper could have done better, but this is high school. It's a bad touch. That's a good cross. Uh, one thing that I want to say too is I was definitely a late bloomer. So this is me at 18 during my senior season. Before this, I was not that fast. I was not that athletic. I was not that strong. Um, but it felt like, if you guys have heard my story, from 14, 15, 16, 17, it was all about weightlifting, plyometrics, getting up a very lean, strong, muscular physique, working on my soccer, you know, my, my soccer skills, training the technical training, watching games and everything. And it felt like that my senior year was the year that everything really came together. I felt like I was finally feeling very athletic and fast and strong. It felt like I was finally feeling very technical on the ball. So if you guys are watching this going like, wow, he's fast, he's always been fast. Uh, it's not the case. I definitely worked very hard in the gym in order to become fast. And this at 18 years old was the first year that I felt like I was more athletic, faster, stronger than a, a lot of other players on the field. Um, let's go back. It's a good move, bad cross. I remember that play. I completely flopped on that play. I don't think the goalkeeper touched me. <laughs> but I got a penalty. That's Kelly Thayer right there, one of my best friends on the ball. He gave me most of my assists this season. And that player right there, Josh Hamilton, he ended up playing college soccer as well. Um, so there, again, I mean, that was my first game of the season. It was a good game. I mean, I had a hat trick that game and an assist. We won five to one, but again, I mean, I can't, I can't say this enough. If I were to redo this highlight video, I would take my best highlights from all the games over the whole season, stick them at the front. Um, because like, even as you saw, there are some highlights from that, from that first game that might, you know, that are okay. They're, they're decent, but probably should be towards the end of the highlight video. And as you will see, there's better highlights that I should have put at the front. Um, here's the next game against Cleveland. Again, another hat trick uh, this game. This is one of our rival high schools. Again, there should be a circle to show who I am, show that I'm the striker. That's a good finish too. I'm kind of actually surprised at my finishing ability back then. It's not bad like that. It's, I mean, obviously the goalkeepers are, aren't as good as at the Division One college level or um, at the professional level, but still, it's pretty decent. Yeah, like the, that clip right there. Um, I, I mean, I just felt this season. It finally felt like I was jumping higher than everybody. I was running faster. I was stronger. So. It really felt like, I can't say this enough, I felt like I was such a late bloomer. And that at 18, I was finally, like, well, not peaking, because I definitely developed, even got more athletic after that. But I felt like I was all that hard work that I put in over four or five years, constantly in the gym, constantly training. It felt like this was the year it was finally paying off. Um, just like little things like that. So it's cool, it's cool. I remember these moments too. It's, it's really weird to, to see this. 
next game against Barlow. Yeah, you can just see like with the defenders, you get like way more time on the ball. There's a lot more space. It's a good touch. Crossbar, of course. Yeah, they're not marking you as tight, stuff like that. It's kind of funny. Tons of space, tons of time. It's a good goal. Yeah. You can see too, like my touch, it takes me like an extra few touches to get the ball like cleanly to the ground. Like this, touch, touch, kind of bouncing a little bit. It's a little sloppy, but I mean, 18 years old in high school, obviously have a long way to go. Like these, like that clip right there, I mean, you have no idea really who I am or even really what happened. I was the guy, I think I flicked on the header barely. But again, I mean like there's better, even better highlight videos or highlights to come. I should have reorganized it. Whoops. <laughs> and yeah, like that's okay. Oh, I remember that was the last minute goal to put us up 2-1. That was, oh, I, this was another last minute goal as well against Redmond here. Definitely like to dribble and shoot. That's a good left footed cross. It's a really good cross. This is it. Yeah, there's the last minute goal. Defender maybe could have done better there. But yeah, this was like right at the 91st or 92nd minute. So right at the end of the video, I did actually put all my stats for the season, the record for the team, where we're ranked amongst uh, all the teams in the state of Oregon, uh, as well as the season was still in progress. Like this isn't even at the end of the season. And then also my personal stats, like 13 goals, three assists, and that I was the captain. All that stuff, as well as my personal stuff about me, my height, my weight, my GPA, all that stuff should be on that front page, like I said, at the first five, 10 seconds of my highlight video. Um, but at least I still had it in there, I was learning. And you know, I, I've definitely given a lot of critique about this highlight video, but overall, I really, I really think it's a good highlight video. I mean, obviously this highlight video was a huge reason why I played Division One college soccer and I piqued so much interest by colleges because I sent this, this highlight video out along with my CV and a, and a very well-written customized email to hundreds of college coaches. So yes, there's tons of things I would change, but for the most part, I think it's very good. It's definitely like even right in that time limit where I think is good between like four and six minutes for a highlight video. I think it's perfect. It comes in right at four minutes and 55 seconds. So, so very good. And then my gameplay, uh, I think technically I had a lot of like room to grow. It, you can tell my first touch, uh, my passes. I mean, these were my highlights as well. And you can even see it was a little sloppy, a little slow, but I mean, again, I, this is high school when I was 18 years old. So, uh, I wasn't a pro back then. And I think that as I've grown and developed, that was like the biggest improvement from my game over the last 10 years, just how technical and, and how much emphasis I put on improving the technical side of the game and how fast I play now. One, two touches majority of the time, always thinking, you know, one or two steps ahead versus here. I mean, you can, you have so much time and space that you can take extra touches. You can get the ball, look up and then decide where you're going to go next versus already knowing the next one or two plays down the road that you think is going to come. So uh, it, it is cool to go back and watch that and to see the development. But again, I mean, I felt like I was a good player and I feel like uh, 
it's a good highlight video overall. Okay, so that was the video. Now I wanna talk about the sponsor of the video, Squarespace. Like I said, whether you guys are looking to create an online store, a website, or just looking for marketing tools or analytics, Squarespace has it all. It really is just an awesome all-in-one platform to help you create a website, an online presence, and to run your business. Every Squarespace template design supports all major content types, including pages, galleries, blogs, commerce, calendars, and more. So you guys can create a very clean and sharp looking website. If you're a personal trainer, a coach, or you're doing one-on-one -on -one private sessions, then Squarespace has this online booking and scheduling tool that would be perfect for you guys. You can easily add the online booking and scheduling tool to your website and clients can easily see your availability and reschedule if needed, taking the hassle out of coordinating calendars. You can also create a real sense of community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system, which allows for threaded comments, replies, and likes. I mean, overall, Squarespace is just an incredibly easy to use platform to help create an online presence and to run your business. So go check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash become elite for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. All right guys, so that's pretty much the video. I really hope that uh, you guys got some sort of value from me critiquing my own high school video. I hope you guys either learned something or just enjoyed watching myself play soccer 10 years ago. I think that's pretty cool to uh, pretty cool to see. If you guys did like this, if you like this style of reaction video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below of what you thought, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.